Okay, so what we have here, is, this video will be a little bit different. This is actually going to be two demos from the Hero U Rogue to Redemption Kickstarter that's currently underway. Uh, today is June 6th, it's after midnight, so it's June 6th now. And this uh, Kickstarter goes till June 16th. And now this is from Corey and Lori Cole. Uh, from the fa very famous Quest for Glory uh, game series from Sierra and, and others. These, these are two very well-known game developers, uh, and they're continuing somewhat the tradition, I guess, even though these games aren't exactly like uh, Quest for Glory. So what I'm gonna do is, is we're going to do a, uh, a playthrough of, of two demos. One is the quote-unquote room break-in demo, and the other one is the combat demo. So both videos will have this. And the Kickstarter, you know, you can look for Hero-U, uh, Rogue to Redemption on Kickstarter. You can also go to Hero-U, that's just the letter U, Hero-U.com. And, uh, and you can find more information about the game as well as, as these demos which are for Windows, Linux, and Mac. And um, I'll put those in the notes for this video as well. So let's get right to it. The, the concept is, is that you are basically, uh, I guess, a thief learning your trade, um, if, if, if I understand correctly, by going to Hero-U, which U stands for kind of like university for a school. So my big break, day one. Wow, I actually met the chief thief of the Con Game Guild. He said, all I have to do is join the guild. To do to join the guild is find a lucky coin hidden somewhere in an old house in the good part of town. He said the coin has an image of a three-leaf clover on it. I found the house in the window the chief thief said to check out. I'm waiting for everyone around here to go to bed for the night, just like a real thief would do. Yeah, Mama won't be happy about my new job, but at least I'll be somebody important with a real job. Okay, so... Okay, so far so good. I made it into the house without attracting attention, just like a real thief would do. It's a start. So, let me click on this. It said the chief thief told me to look for a small silver coin in the study. So, desk, bookshelf, comfy couch. This looks like a study to me. Now, where do you suppose that this coin is hiding? Um, and this is sort of a 3D. Uh, it, it still kind of has the adventure game point and click but it's also got sort of a 3D, well, not sort of, I think it is very much 3D um, sort of style to it. So we're going to click around and, and see what we can find. Now over here, there's a candle. Let's see what this does. Ah, that shows me help. Now keep in mind that this is still a demo, so that uh, that text will be easier to read, I'm sure, in the final, um, in the final uh, game. Uh, the old inventory. Looks like I've got nothing. Uh, and a book. My big break. Okay, so we've already read that. So, not a lot. This stuff over here doesn't uh, really do much yet, I'm sure, in the game. It'll do more. And let's check out the cat. Oh, we can pat the cat. We can talk to the cat. We can kick the cat. Or we can be done. I'm not going to kick the cat, but I will talk to the cat. Uh, I will introduce myself to the cat. So, cat. You'll be able to tell me your great grand. You'll be able to tell your great grand kittens that you met Master Thief Sean O'Connor. It's very first break in success. Aren't you proud of this moment? <coughs> cat says morale. It's very proud. Let me question the cat. I don't suppose you've seen a small silver coin with a shamrock symbol stamped on it, have you? <coughs> and the cat says, I have no idea what you're talking about. Didn't think so. I'll have to do a thorough search of the room. So the cat. Um, I guess you could say if the cat would have helped me, he would be a cat burglar <laughs> sorry okay let's look at stuff let's look at the globe uh, examine the globe take the globe let's examine the globe well I never realized Sardonia was so small an island there's a lot of world to see when I'm a famous thief I'll leave this place maybe I'll go visit Silmeria other than that no secret compartments or hidden objects that I can find okay so I'll have to look elsewhere for the lucky coin all right uh, I don't know why I would take the globe, but I'll take it just to take. Thing is nice, but it's too big to steal. Okay. Uh, let's look at the bookshelf. Uh, examine the books. 
Here's a copy of It Takes a Thief. I'd better not take it. Da -da -da. Take a book. I'll just grab a copy of Robert's Rules of Order. So that's there's Robert's Rules of Order. Corey Cole is, is very into puns. Um, as he says in an interview uh, that I uh, saw on, on the Matt Chat uh, channel on YouTube. That's weird. All of the rules are out of order. Haha. <laughs> because um, Robert's Rules of Order. Okay. Thief of Baghdad. It's about a young man who steals things. Where do writers come up with ideas like this? And I'm a young man who steals things. So, da dun da Done. Uh, let's look at the mountain painting. Looks like there's a dragon on a mountain. I'm going to look behind the painting. No hidden safes, no concealed lucky coins. Let's look at the painting. I wouldn't want to have a painting of a dragon on a mountaintop on their wall. Must be nostalgia for the high Sierras. And this is a callback to the old Sierra. Or there was a company called Sierra that published the Quest for Glory games. And uh, I'm pretty sure the intros to one of the games had kind of a mountain with a dragon on top of it. So that's just a little, little inside joke. Uh, take the painting. It's too big. All right. Cabinet. Search cabinet doors. I don't see any lucky coins. In fact, I don't see much of anything. Look under it. Nothing under there, not even dust. Okay. Not going to make it easy for us, are they? Let's look at the chair. Move the chair. I'll just slide the chair to one side to move it back where it was. Nope. Nothing interesting there. Examine the chair. It's a good chair. It just doesn't seem to be anything hidden in it or under it. Set to the chair. Said it's uncomfortable. Done. Okay, so the chair. Uh, didn't do much. Let's look, let's look at the top of the desk. Uh, examine the desktop objects. Hmm. I'm turn the desk lamp on. Okay, now I'm going to examine the desk lamp. Okay, eliminates the desk. Quite bright, really a smart modern model. Read the book on the desk. It's the essential little black book of chartered accountancy. I'm so glad I'll never be an accountant. That stuff is dangerous. It could bore you to death. Okay. Uh, check out the file folders. All of these file folders are empty. Either the owner is really good at putting files away, or he doesn't really get any work done here. Okay, let's look at the pictures. They're just family pictures, a young woman and a baby. There's nothing hidden in them. Uh, okay, back. I'm gonna look at the drawers. Examine the desk, unlock the center drawer. Great, the coin might be in a locked drawer, but I don't have any way to open it. I'll have to open it someplace else. When I join the Thieves Guild, maybe they'll give me a set of lock picks. Picking locks can't be that hard to learn, can it? Alright, open the side desk door. Just a bunch of old papers, a dull pen, a silver letter opener, and some dried ink. Hmm. Guess the owner doesn't write many letters these days. I'm going to take the letter opener. And I'm going to use the letter opener to try to open the lock door. Uh, okay, I wasn't able to do that. It told me basically I couldn't do it. Uh, what else was in there? Pen, ink. Uh, it won't let me take the pen. Okay, I have the letter opener, but it won't let me... Open the door. I'm going to try it one more time. Uh, use item to open lock door. And I'll try that again. Okay. So I can't do it. Done. Let's look at the wastebasket. So if you've never played an adventure game, a lot of it is just sort of examining your environment, solving puzzles, um, you know, of course, the, the Coles have a, uh, a reputation for, you know, making it very fun and kind of quirky and engaging 
so it's not just an exercise in beating your head against the wall. Uh, alas, the wastebasket is completely empty. Tis better to have dreamed and lost than never to have dreamed at all. Okay. So I think, let me look at the potted plant. And, the, and you know, usually you have to look at everything. Uh, I'm going to examine the plant. I'm going to hug the plant. I guess it says I can't budge the plant, so I guess it isn't in my budge. It didn't uh, hug the plant. I shall hug you and squeeze you and call you. Hmm, I don't know, George, Chuck, Audrey. How about plant? That's from an old uh, Warner Brothers cartoon. So I'll hug you and squeeze you and call you George. So uh, let's examine the plant. I can't confirm or deny if this is a palm or a pineapple, but I'm not fond of it. Oh, the puns. Uh, Examine the pot. It's a, painted, it's a painted clay pot filled with dirt, but I don't feel any treasure buried in it. Check under the plant. Man, that's a heavy plant. It won't budge. Okay. So. I looked in the cabinet. I looked at the chair. I looked in the drawers. I looked in the wastebasket. look at this painting. Examine the meadow painting. Oh, that's pretty. Based on the brush stroke style and use colors, this painting is undoubtedly a classic Chang. I don't get the reference. The artist probably had to sell the painting because he was broke. <laughs> that's so terrible. Oh, look behind the painting. Nothing behind it except a lot of talent and hard work. Take the painting. It won't fit. Done. Okay, let's look at the baby picture. Okay, I'm in the baby picture. I'm going to tickle the baby. Tee hee. Look at those bunny slippers wiggle. Oh, wait, it's just a picture. Good thing. Examine it. What? Who would dress up a baby in a bunny suit? Maybe a rabbit admirer. Oh, these puns are bad. Uh, women's portrait. Behind the picture. Even though the picture is old, it hasn't been up on the wall very long. The owner must have moved it here fairly recently. Hmm. Is that a clue? Examine it. According to my best forensic analysis, this doesn't look like a recent picture. It must be from a previous generation. So, but it was moved recently. That's that's interesting to me. Let's look at the large chest. Examine the large chest. Looks like the kind of foot locker sailors keep their stuff in during long sea voyages. I guess that makes sense since Sardonia is a seaport. Okay. Darn, it's locked. Open the sea chest. I don't have a key and that lock is too sturdy to break. Whew. Just not getting any luck with the old uh, locks. Examine the fireplace tools. These are good tools for working fire, but not at all useful for your future master thief. I'll try to take them. They don't look valuable and they'll be noisy. Okay, I can't take them. Let me look at the firewood. Fire's already burning nicely. I'll make too much noise if I move any of the firewood. Okay. Uh, moose head. Examine the moose head. There's something strange about... Oh, wait. It's just a moose stash someone painted on that animal. <laughs> this is so bad. Keep a stiff upper lip, moose. Move the moose head. Let's see if I can move that moose head. Maybe there's something hidden behind it. Nope, it's just a heavy decoration. Take the moose head. Trying to sneak out with something that big would be a huge moose take. Oh, so bad. I love a good pun, though, and a bad pun, so I'm, I'm rather enjoying this. Uh, let's look at the fireplace. Examine the fireplace. It's a nice warm fire. I don't see anything odd about the fireplace, but there's a slightly loose stone on the mantel. I bet it's concealing something. Huh. Pull out, put out the fire. Oh, sure. I shall everyone know that someone has been in here besides. I need the light. Climb the fireplace. Maybe somebody that thieves go will teach me how to climb fireplaces and stuff. For now, I'll keep my feet on the ground. Besides, the stones on the mantelpiece feel a little bit loose. Okay, I, I get that. Oh, the mantle. Okay, so it's given. Let's take a look. Examine the fireplace mantle. Mantle. Shamrock design reminds me of the description of the lucky coin. I'll take my time examining it. Aha! One of the shamrock panels seems loose. 
Uh, open the secret panel in the mantle. There's got to be a catch to the secret panel somewhere. There, it feels like it just slides open. I'll just... Oh, look at that. There's a small safe hidden in the fireplace mantle. Ooh, and this moved over. Oh, hmm. How in the world could I possibly... It looks like what? There's three different shaped keys here. Examine the safe. There's a hidden safe in the fireplace. Must take four keys to open it. Or a set of thieves, thieves tools. Shame I don't happen to have them. Wait a second. That design in the center looks just like the coin I'm supposed to find. But how can I get it out of there? Huh. Use an item to get the coin. There we go. Let, letter opener. I wonder if I can pry it off with a letter opener. Yep, I got the lot of key coin. I am so good. Okay. Okay, so I closed that. I'm done. I guess I got the lucky coin. Yep. So I'm going to look around a little bit more, but just for purposes of time, since I'm not playing a full game, I'm just kind of doing the demo, uh, I'm going to assume that that takes care of what I'm supposed to do in this room. I'm going to examine the piano. From the marks on the floor, the piano looks like it's been in this room for years. When I was a baby, I remember that mom used to play beautiful, sad songs on the piano. No, that can't be right. Where did Porter have ever had a piano? Done. Okay, just for time purposes, because I still want to look at the combat demo. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Since we found, I'm going to turn off the desk lamp. Okay, and then I'm going to go out the window, I suppose. Escape through the window. Great, got the coin, didn't get caught. I'll be a Thieves Guild member before the night is over. Yay me! Okay, so that was... Made it, now I've got my golden ticket to joining the Thieves Guild. What? Who are you? Never mind who I am. I'm here to offer you a chance at a very different future. As a student at the Hero University... Say what? You want me to go to school? What's to stop me from just running off? If you don't follow me, you'll never find out what this is all about. Ah, run off or follow the stranger. In real life, following the stranger is probably not a good idea. But in this game, why not? Let's follow the stranger. If you're going to put it that way... So, will Sean be a thief or become a hero? It's up to you! Sean's adventures continue in Hero U, Road to Redemption, coming early 2016 to PC, Mac, and Linux computers. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video, and then uh, when we come right back, we'll do the combat uh, demo in this same uh, video. So, for you, it'll just be a moment. For me, it'll be uh, a little bit, a few seconds, maybe a minute or two. Okay, so now here we are with the combat demo for Hero U, Rogue to Redemption. If you need a reminder, although I hope your memory is not that bad since it's just been a few seconds, uh, we just did the break-in demo, uh, and now we're in the now we're uh, doing the combat demo. So the wine cellar, day one. Joel claims that there's an old treasure chest hidden in the wine cellar and that there's some sort of quote-unquote guardian protecting it. All I have to do is find that chest and I'll be rich. Even if I don't find the big treasure, I'm sure I can collect a few monster parts. Gregor at the store says he'll pay a bounty on any I bring him. Okay, so what's the catch? It's just a fortune hidden away in the depths of a haunted castle that's been deserted for years. Can't be too hard to find, can it? I'll just have to be very, very careful. Some of those monsters probably have really sharp teeth. And claws, let's not forget the claws. Um, right, treasure! So... Uh, this is an introduction and development test of the exploration and combat features of Hero U. Click on the candle icon near the top left of the game window for instructions on using the game controls. Use the other icons to see other types of game information. The dagger icon allows you to enter or leave combat mode. This allows special actions such as using potions and setting traps. Okay, so uh, looks like we have a few more options that we didn't have on the combat break-in or the, the break-in uh, demo. So let's look. The candle says, mouse over an object to see its name, left-click on an empty area to move, left-click 
on an object to interact with it. Okay, we have already done most of this. Right click an object to get a description. Hold control while clicking to run. Okay, I didn't know I could do that. Hold shift while clicking to sneak and click on an opponent to select it. And then uh, we also have these uh, attack, defend, range, use item stuff down here. So, and again, I'm running this in pretty high resolution and it's a demo. So the, uh, you know, the, the text and stuff will be read more readable in the final game. So, uh, what's this? Oh, looks like I've got a dagger. Got some stats here. Got agility, charm, fitness, luck, magic, moxie, a little bit of moxie, perception, and smarts. Uh, my reputation is I'm a good boy. Uh, skills, climbing, combat, defense, lock picking, spot, stealth, throwing. So, you know, this isn't just an adventure game. It's, it's, it's a uh, sort of a blend of adventure, traditional adventure, point and click, solve puzzles kind of game. Uh, and also an RPG where, you know, you're getting skills and, you know, stats and inventory and, and all, well, you have inventory in adventure games too. But anyway, all right, so let's see what this is. All right, oh, I accidentally moved him. Uh, that's the journal. And then here's the attack. So attack, defend, ranged weapon, or use item. And it looks like I do have a healing potion. So, uh, let me turn that back off. I don't have an inventory that's disabled, probably just for purposes of the demo. Uh, let's see. There's a wine rack. Let's check out the wine rack. Examine the wine bottles. I don't think that these will hold wine anymore, but they can be useful in a fight. Five of these bottles might be suitable for throwing. So, I'm going to take a wine bottle... I'm going to take another wine bottle, I'm going to take another wine bottle, take another wine bottle, and take another wine bottle. And I can't take anymore. So, uh, let me look at the candle holder. Examine the candles. Take a candle. Put the candle back. Well, since I don't have a candle yet, I can't put it back. I wonder who comes down here to keep all these candles lit. It's a good question. In these spooky, ancient, deserted ruins, but yet there's torches and candles lit and stuff. Hmm. Take a candle. You know, take candle. I. This looks like a rat. Uh, did I really hear that? Maybe I'd better leave the candles where they are. Uh, so I guess I'll put the candle back. Ah, oh, good times. But the candle holder doesn't seem to be connected to a secret door. All right done. So a rat did not like me taking the candles. There's a small drat nest, which I'm pretty sure is a dire rat. Something has made itself a nest between the barrels. Perhaps there's something useful within the pile of straw and bones. What did I get? Oh good, I found a healing potion. I might need that later. Click the use item button on the combat interface, then on the healing potion when you are badly hurt. Uh, that'll be interesting because I don't know what my health and all that is yet. I don't even know how to look at that. Is it in here? I don't know. We'll find out. So if I go to use item, now I have two healing potions. So very nice. I'll turn that back off, and off we go. Drats. Why does it always have to be drats? This will make my friend Matt Barton very happy. He loves rats in his role-playing games. Uh... I might be able to weaken this one before it can get to me with a steady aim and a bit of luck. After clicking on an enemy, use the ranged weapon icon in the combat bar to throw something at your opponent. Okay, so let me try this. I'm going to click on him. I'm going to go to ranged weapon. And I have an empty wine bottle. So let's see what happens. Missed. Okay. Okay, so it looks like this is turn-based and not um, real-time, which is fine with me. I prefer turn-based. So let's attack. We attack again. Okay, so here's my health here. Here's the rat's health. So, okay. Yeah, you missed me. All right. 
Yay, my combat increased, my combat skill, and I have a dead drat. Drat those drats! I got some drat parts I can sell later. Great. So, here's another small drat nest. Wow, a flambe. Time to roast them and toast them. Grenades can be thrown from a distance as a ranged attack. They can damage multiple opponents at once if they're close to each other. So, a flambe is like a... what? Yeah, it's basically like a Molotov cocktail, looks like. Okay. It's another dire rat. I'm going to try to do my ranged weapon again. wine bottle. Uh, that hit him. Alright, cool. So I did do a little bit of damage to him. So far my health's doing okay. My combat's going up. So even on misses, your combat goes up. Okay, defeated the route. Did you see he did like a little, I don't know, kind of a little dance, almost like a moonwalk or something. Celebrating over dead opponents. Bad taste, Sean O'Connor. I got some draft parts. Okay. Uh, there's another candle holder. What do we got here? Okay, can't take one. Let me check out the storeroom door. Look for traps. There are no traps here. Open. goes. Uh, if I hit him, my throwing went up. Yeah, just, I have to say, I, I really like that they made the combat turn-based. I'm just not a big fan of real-time clicky-clicky, having to frantically click and stuff to hope to hit before they hit you. I'm a big, big fan of turn-based combat. Okay, stack of barrels. I don't even remember if I looted that rat, but since it's just a demo, I'm not that worried about it. Doesn't mean anything in these barrels, but the arrangement seems odd. I wonder if there's something on top of them. Hey, an unset spring-loaded trap designed to catch rodents of unusual size. It's just what I've always wanted. Try using a spring trap to disable an opponent for a few rounds. You'll be able to retrieve it at the end of combat. Okay. So how would I set that? I also said something, what if I shift? Okay, I'll sneak. And if I control, I'll run. Okay. So that worked. Look for traps. There are no traps. Oh. There are three of them in here. I need to find a way to fight one or two at a time, or I'm dire rat chow. Okay, so... Um, I'm gonna lay this trap. Who's I don't Trap. Okay, so I did that. Now I'm gonna do a ranged weapon, and I'm gonna use this flambe. Oh, I've got to click on my target first. Hold on. Well, can I move? Yeah. There we go. Get in my trap. Get in my trap. Oops, that's not good. Get in my trap, man. Oh, well. Uh, attack. At least only one's attacking me. I probably need to use a healing potion. Because that wasn't... I was starting to get pretty low on health. Alright. So that's it. My actions. Okay, I defeated that Jurat. One thing I wish I could do is... Yeah, I can't mouse or arrow over to see beyond... Guy in the trap. I 
want to see how this trap works. Come on, man. Get the trap. I guess I'm the fighter. Rat. Let me pick this thing back up. I'll try it again. Pile of rotting garbage. I forget what I'm looking for in here. Treasure? Some sort of big treasure? Phew, that pile of refuse sinks. I'll keep searching. Hey, look, some lock picks. A necessity in this business. Cool. Got some lock picks. Uh, hello, little dire rat. sections to this kiln. It must have been used back in the day to make all those wine bottles. Hey, looks like there's an old ring left here among the ashes. Finders keepers. Oh, I guess I have a a ring of some sort. Uh, okay, so what is this? It's the ring, alright. Wearing this improves your agility. Nice. Oh, daring. Da ring. <laughs> I love the puns, I, I have to say. One thing I don't I don't know if it'll be changed in the um, in the final game or not, but I, I can't I, I can't seem to change the camera. You know I can't I can't rotate the camera or zoom in or out or anything. Maybe you know I, I don't it, it doesn't really bother me. Uh, I know some people will probably want to try to do it, um, but so far it just seems kind of set on the camera angle and position, sort of isometric. Okay, look for traps. There are no traps. Pick the lock. If I practice a little more, I think maybe we'll get this open. Nearly there, so I guess I just have to keep practicing. Yay, practice makes perfect, or at least get us closer. Okay. So, pick the lock. So I guess I got good enough. special key you won't be able to pick it no matter how much you practice okay can't get in there done let's look at the wine rack uh, examine the wine bottles i don't think these will hold wine anymore i think they're useful to fight okay i'll grab some more wine bottles One of these bottles is not like the others. It's a healing potion. Cool, I'll grab it. All right, looks like I need to try to get into this door. Look for traps. There are no traps, pick the lock. Yay! My lock picking increased, but it's not good enough yet. Nearly there, just a little practice. Yay! Gotta keep practicing. Got it! Alright, good old Sean. Learning how to pick stuff. One of these drats looks bigger and meaner than the others I've seen. 
Hmm. What is this? Stacked barrels. Whenever anything is hiding in these barrels, maybe some finely aged cognac? Even better, it's a fiercely flaming flambe or flambe. I can throw it at that monster and singe its fur right off. Okay, so the developers um, were nice enough to give us a flambe. Now I'm going to try to sneak and see what. That's a warrior drat and a dire rat. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to use item. I want to see if this, if I can get that working. Second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on him and I'm going to go to ranged weapon and I'm going to grab a flambe. Boom. That took about half his damage. I'll take that. Took him about half down. Oh, he did get the, Okay, so this other guy got caught in the trap. So that's cool. Drop the warrior at. This guy's stunned. And I'm going to use an item and drink a healing potion because I'm getting pretty low. automatically retri retrieved my used traps, so that was cool. Okay. Like I said, I don't really know why I'm looting these guys since I'm just doing the demo, but anyway. Um, let's go to the Drat Nest. Yay, another healing potion! So they're just kind of hooking us up with flambés and healing potions. Look for traps. There are no traps. Mm -hmm. Wooden crate. There's a nice looking leather vest to pad these bottles. Maybe it will give me some protection against the monsters. Cool, I got a leather vest. This fine leather vest improves your defense and also helps you be charming is so much nicer than your regular clothing. Alright. So I got a leather vest now. I can't I can't remember if that changed my appearance or not. I don't think it did. But anyway. Now we're going to the tasting room. Look for traps. Oh wow, there's a trap. I was wondering if we we're gonna run it. I should disarm it before it further, otherwise who knows what I might do. Examine the trap. This trap should be a cinch for me to disarm. Okay. Nice work. One more trap. Now pick the lock. Yay! Okay. What in the world is that thing? Okay, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna sneak over to this thing. Stuck in there. Yep. The approach. It's a giant roach. And it's dead. Yay! I'm all flexing my muscles. Got my trap back. Um, I hear that approach parts are usable lots of way. Might just take some. Hey, what's this? Approaches are supposed to be like shiny things, but this one is wearing a key like a necklace. He felt tingly when I picked it up. Maybe it's magical. Interesting. Wasn't there a door that I could not get in earlier? No, oh, mysterious door. Let me look at my inventory. I don't know if it'll show my inventory or not. Yeah. Uh, 
use I don't map. that key's not showing up probably just need to have the key to get through that door there's something big and scary to this door but I'm not going to let that stop me second thought yes I will whatever is on the other door I'm not ready for it I bet I missed a door or something earlier I'm not going out to explore everything in the cellar So there was that one door earlier that was locked. So let's assume, I'm gonna assume this key gets us in. await me. So why impress? What the heck is that thing? The treasure chest. I am so good. The guardian can't be all that tough, right? And I've already used up my flambeys. Um, for some reason, I was thinking the approach was a was my main baddie, even though I did say something about a guardian and a chest. That's what I get for not paying attention. So first thing, I'm going to creep up on this dude, like the thief that I am. Alright, I don't know if he'll... I'm going to use my trap. Uh, ranged weapon. Throw a throwing dagger at him. I haven't tried one of these yet. No, i got to click on him first. Uh, I don't think I hit him. Hey, he got caught in the trap. Breaking free from the trap. My combat went up. Defend, what does this do? Okay, so for one round. So for one round, I guess you get or you can defend. Guardian, I'm gonna take you down. I'm taking. Oh, he's almost got me. When sneaking through dungeons, don't be misled. It's very tricky to kill an undead. Cute. Here lies Sean O'Connor. So, do I get to try again, or what happens here? Ah, I would have to. Just for time purposes, I have to quit, but uh, that's, that's basically the demo uh, for both the uh, kind of searching a room and solving puzzles and for combat. I, I enjoyed it, even though I got dropped like a like a bad habit at the very end. Um, should have saved my flambe for for Chuckles, the undead guardian. But anyway, that's life. I, I enjoyed it, so I uh, look forward to seeing this game come out when when it's uh, in its full finished form. Thanks so much for watching Shane plays, uh, and. You know, please, if you like this video, uh, you know, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment on YouTube. That, that helps me quite a bit. Thanks so much. 